so students in the last session we have covered the introduction of subject like what is quantity and quantity surveying in detail then we have covered units of measurement and how to convert different units with each other now students for today's session we will see brick as a construction material in detail okay in today's session we are going to cover manufacturing of brick types of brick rate of brick standard size and shapes of brick use of brick according to the size so what is brick brick is one of the oldest building material brick continues to be a most popular and leading construction material because of being cheap durable and easy to handle and work with a brick can compose of clay bearing soil sand and lime or concrete materials clay bricks are used for building up exterior and interior walls partitions piers footings and other load bearing structures a brick is rectangular in shape and size that can be conveniently handled with one hand clay bricks are commonly used since these are economically and easily available bricks are produced in numerous classes types materials and sizes which vary with region and time period and are produced in bulk quantities now manufacturing of brick bricks are traditionally manufactured by mixing clay with enough water to form a mud that is and hardened through fire or sun some bricks are dried on sun and some bricks are dried in kilns being poured into a form and then removed and dried in stacks outside in sun or burnt in kilns so next is classification of brick bricks are classified according to the type of burning process of brick like i have told you that some bricks are dried under the sun and some bricks are dried in kilns so they are unburned bricks and burned bricks first is unburned bricks these bricks are dried with the help of heat received from sun after the process of molding these bricks can only used in construction of temporary and cheap structure such bricks should not be used at places exposed to heavy rainfall because they are dried in the sun they are not so strong so that's why they are used for temporary work next is burn bricks bricks used in construction are burn bricks these bricks are burnt in kilns so they are strong enough so they are used for construction work they are classified into 
four types that are first class brick second class brick third class brick and fourth class brick we'll see the first type of brick that is first class brick these bricks are table molded and of standard shape and they are burnt in kilns the surface and edges of the bricks are sharp square smooth and straight they comply with all the qualities of good brick these bricks are used for superior work of permanent nature some bricks are table molded and some bricks are ground molded table molded means they are molded on the table because of that their edges are sharp and ground molded bricks are molded on ground next type is second class brick these bricks are ground molded and they are burnt in kilns the surface of these bricks is somewhat rough and shape is also slightly irregular these bricks may have hair cracks and their edges may not be sharp and uniform these bricks are commonly used at place where brickwork is to be provided with a coat of plaster yes because they are not strong enough and they have hair cracks we need to cover them with the coat of plaster all the used bricks for construction work are second class brick the next type is third class brick these bricks are ground molded and they are molded in kilns these bricks are not hard and they have rough surface with irregular and distorted edges these bricks give dull sound when struck together they are used for unimportant and temporary structures and at places where rainfall is not heavy because they are weak so they are used for unimportant and temporary work of the construction then the last type is fourth class bricks these bricks are overburnt type of brick with irregular shape and dark color these bricks are used as aggregate for concrete in foundations floors roads etc because of the fact that overburnt bricks have a compact structure and hence they are sometimes found to be stronger than even the first class bricks yes they found stronger even more than first class brick because they are overburnt they are hard enough so these are all the types of bricks which are used in construction then bricks are also classified on the base of their shape the ordinary bricks are rectangular solids but sometimes the bricks are given different shapes to make them suitable for particular type of construction work so here we'll see different types of bricks available with various shapes that are bullnose brick channel brick coping brick cowness brick curved sector brick hollow brick paving brick and perforated brick 
All these type of tricks you have covered in basic material and product subject in your first year. Then we are going to see what is the standard size of brick. The standard size of brick is 90 mm by 90 mm by 190 mm. That is width is 90 mm, height is 90 mm and length is 190 mm. You should know this size of the brick you learn this size of and dimension of the brick because we need it for the calculation of quantity of brick. So students, we have covered all the types of bricks. Then we have seen the size of the brick, basic size of the brick. Now we'll see what is the rate of the bricks? Now in market, there are two types of bricks available that are single brick and double brick. We'll see the size of single brick. Height is four inches, width is four inches and length is eight inches. You have seen the diagram of the single brick in the previous slide. I have rounded up the figure for the calculation purpose. So this is the standard size of single brick. Rate of brick single brick is 5 rupees per brick. Yes, I am telling you the rate per brick. Rate is very important part of our calculation. So for 1000 brick, I'll need 5000 rupees. This is also called 4 inches brick. Now, this is double brick. First, we'll see the size of this brick. That is, height is 4 inches, width is 6 inches and length is 8 inches. Can you identify the difference in both the bricks? The width is different. In the single brick, width is 4 inches. In the double brick, width is 6 inches. So, this is the difference in both the bricks. Like for single brick, I have also rounded up the dimensions of this brick also, which will be easy for calculation of quantity of brick wall. So, the rate of the brick, that is double brick, is 10 rupees per brick. So, for 1000 brick, I'll require 10,000 rupees. So we have covered everything we, requ we require for calculation purpose that we know different types of bricks used for construction. Then we have seen the sizes of the brick, double brick and single brick. In the next session, we are going to calculate single brick and double brick that is 4 inches thick brick wall calculation and 6 inches thick brick wall calculation and next is 8 inches thick brick wall calculation that is for a particular brick wall construction we need to calculate the number of bricks required for the wall After the number of brick calculation, we need to calculate the final amount required for certain size of wall with thickness. So, we'll see the calculation in the next session for 
4 inches thick brick wall. Now we will see use according to size of brick. Like different size of brick has different use. Single brick that is 4 inch thick brick is used for construction of internal wall. Double brick that is 6 inches thick brick is used for construction of external wall. Now we will see why single brick is used for internal and double brick is used for external wall of construction. You know the size of both the bricks. So, width is different in both the bricks. For construction of external wall, we use 6 inch thick brick or sometimes we use double 4 inch thick brick. Because of its thickness, weather protection is achieved. Like for example, if outside temperature is hot, then it will travel first through the external wall of our structure. Because of more thickness, it will take more time to come inside. Then, the thickness will protect us from water leakage issues. Because of the thickness, wall is strong for taking up load. And it is also good for protection of the structure. Right? So, these are some points for which we use more thickness of brick for construction of external wall. So, overall, it is good for all kind of protection of a structure. Then, we will see about using 4 inch thick wall for interior construction. For interior wall construction, we don't need to protect against weather. So, if we use less thickness brick, we get more usable space inside our structure. Obviously, the difference between 4 inches and 6 inches is 2 inches. If you will minus 6 minus 4 is 2. So, we get 2 inches space extra. That is 0 0.05 meter. That is 5 centimeter. Interior walls are only partition wall, just for division of different space, like living area, kitchen, bedroom, toilet, etc. So, we can get more space if we use 4 inch thick brick for interior. It is also beneficial for renovation purpose of any space. Because of a thickness, we can easily remove particular wall in renovation. Less labor will be needed for removal of such wall. Also, less strength of labor will be consumed for that work. So students, we should know what thickness of wall should be used for exterior and interior of a 
structure. One more important benefit is there is using less thickness of bricks. It will be reduce budget of the project. How? We, we have seen the cost of 4 inches and 6 inches brick. So, 4 inches brick is less in cost. Because of that, you will require less money for construction. Or else, you can say, if you know the different that which thickness of brick should be used where, you will be able to save a big amount of overall budget of your project. So, it is very important to study the material. It is also important to study deeply the material property and rate. So, that's all for this session. Meet in the next session. Thank you very much students for listening patiently.